The kidneys are responsible for filtering toxins from the bloodstream, regulating the body's electrolytes, um, stimulating the bone marrow to produce red blood cells, and um, concentrating the urine. When the kidneys are not working, we see problems with all of these functions. Kidney disease is diagnosed by a blood test and a urine test initially. The blood test that we look at is two values, the BUN and the creatinine. These are both abnormal if the kidney is not filtering properly. The urine is to look at whether or not the kidneys are concentrating the urine and keeping the body balanced with its water. If your pet is diagnosed with kidney disease, we may also recommend an ultrasound, x-rays, or even a biopsy of the kidney to help figure out exactly what's going on with the kidneys. There are multiple causes of kidney disease. The first and most common is chronic kidney disease. This is a progressive um, chronic disease where the individual units of the kidney are failing and we see this quite often in older pets. The second um, common reason for kidney disease is an infection of the kidneys or pyelonephritis. This is where the kidney is infected either from bacteria spreading up from the bladder or descending infection from the bloodstream. Another reason for kidney disease is uh, cancer in the kidneys. This can be a variety of types of cancer. It can be a primary tumor, or it can be metastatic spread from elsewhere in the body. And then there's a whole group of kidney problems that we see. We see cysts in the kidneys. We see problems with the kidneys filtering. We see toxins that uh, damage the kidneys. And we also see heat stroke causing problems to the kidneys. The most common signs of kidney disease are drinking a lot, urinating a lot, having a poor appetite, losing weight, and vomiting. Treatment of kidney disease is geared both at treating the symptoms that we see as well as treating the underlying disease. One of the first changes we'll usually recommend is diet. There are multiple renal diets available on the market. Um, some of these are Hills KD, Purina NF, Royal Canin LP, and Imes Veterinary Diet Renal. We often recommend trying one or two of these foods since your pet may have different tastes than some of the other pets out there and that way you can figure out which one works best for your pet. Another important treatment of kidney disease is fluids. Depending on the severity of your pet's kidney disease, we may recommend either hospitalization on IV fluids or sending you home with sub-Q fluids, which we would show you how to give. Sub-Q stands for subcutaneous or fluids given under the skin. So even though your pet is drinking a lot and urinating a lot, because the kidneys aren't doing their job at keeping water in the body, they're on the verge of dehydration, which is why fluids are the most important thing for kidney disease. Based on the underlying problem or cause of your pet's kidney disease, we may recommend a variety of other treatments, such as antiacids, phosphate binders, electrolyte additives, bone marrow stimulants, or vitamin D supplements. These can also help control your pet's kidney disease and keep them feeling as good as possible. So once your pet's been diagnosed with kidney disease, we'll then talk about monitoring. Monitoring is both how well they're doing at home as well as how they're doing on their blood work. And we do recommend regular screening for uh, their kidney values once they've been diagnosed. So if your pet has been diagnosed with kidney disease, it's really important that you sit down and have a talk with your veterinarian about their individual circumstance and what is the best possible treatment for them and how to monitor their kidney disease and keep them feeling as good as possible for as long as possible. Thank you.